said, we don't need more cops. We don't need more police patrolling our streets, brutalizing and murdering our people. So we're going to tell Eric one time what we need from this budget. We need care not cops. Michael Brown! Michael, Michael Brown! 
I say. Riddell Jones. Riddell Jones. I say. Keisha Michael. Keisha Michael. I say. Michelle Shirley. I say. Michelle Shirley. I say. Megan Hockaday. Megan Hockaday. I say. Devin Brown. Devin Brown. I say.
grandfather, your oldest remembered grandfather, breathe him in. Grandpa Alan. Breathe in the spirit now. They're not going to get mad that I'm saying it. Breathe in the spirit of your favorite ancestor. The one who held you the tightest, that cooked you the best food, that told you the best stories. Breathe that person in. Say their name. to push you to demand that you stand up 
for black lives. And if you don't, your political career is over, yo. It's over. You will not be the governor. You definitely won't be the president. It's our job as organizers to step into this, the shoes of our, our loved ones who have lost their lives. George Floyd doesn't get to show up to a protest. Ezel Ford doesn't get to show up to a protest. Waukesha Wilson doesn't get to show up to a protest. But guess what? We do. We should be honored and privileged that we get to stand up for black lives every single day. Because when black people get free, we all get free. Obligation to utilize whatever privilege we have 
in our lives to liberate folks. We have to use whatever privilege we have for liberation. We have to end the legacy of slave catching that is the police. Yeah. That's why we're calling to defund the police. Defund Say defund the police. 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 When I first met Black Lives Matter, I saw how raw they were, how real they were, and their power scared me a little bit. I was like, I don't want to associate my shit with that. I might lose some jobs. But I realized as I was acting in fear, my silence was complicity with the deaths of my loved ones in my community. We have an obligation to use our privilege for liberation. So I'm not asking y'all just to hashtag Black Lives Matter. That's good. But y'all got to pair that with hashtag defund the police. If we can't imagine better than this system in a creative industry where we thrive off of so-called imagination, we don't have imagination and we have no business being paid to be a creative. We need to be a part of the creation of the world that we want to see where our children and when I say our, I'm talking about black children don't have to live in a world with police terror. LAUSD is the largest school police force in the country. Minneapolis School District has ended their contract with Minneapolis PD. So has the university, what is Hollywood doing? Because I guarantee you that uh, our 1%, uh, our, our wealthy uh, artists here don't put their children in schools run by police. The largest portion of the budget for LAUSD goes toward security. That's police. Would y'all put y'all's children in them schools willingly? They have all those police, they don't have no counselors. They don't have no after school programs. They don't have no nurses. So we gotta demand better from Hollywood. Hollywood needs to catapult this shit to the next level. We need to demand that we don't have any police on our sets. That's one way we can divest. At our events, we need private security, not police. If you really want to stand with black creators, think about the trauma that we have to experience going to these events and being surrounded by police. We don't feel protected. We feel traumatized. We feel triggered. We can use our influence. Ed Garcetti loves Hollywood. He loves to stand with celebrities and take pictures. I have personally heard Ed Garcetti talk about immigrants and ICE as if ICE was necessary. He has stood with the police over the people too many times. He has endorsed measures and fought against our measures that expand police surveillance, expand police presence and budgets. And that's what he's doing right now. That's why we're here. He has influence over this budget. So we have to hold him accountable. I don't give a fuck about your relationship with Eric Garcetti and you trying to maintain that so that one day he might, you might be able to utilize it. While you're waiting, people are dying. Fuck your relationship with Eric Garcetti. And if Eric Garcetti doesn't change this shit, fuck him too. As a matter of fact, y'all ain't gotta say it. I'll say it. Fuck Eric Garcetti. 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 Defund the police. Defund the police. Police! Defund the 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 police!
One more time for me. Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? I want to say one more thing. I want to make sure y'all, I sink this into y'all system. One, I appreciate everybody that came out today. I know a lot of y'all were at the protest on Saturday. Now, I want to be very clear. If these police plan to arrest folks and keep them off the streets, they would have had buses there, they would have had zip ties, they would have been prepared to arrest us. Instead, they came with batons, and rubber bullet cannons. My leg is wrapped up right now because I got hit five times. They pointed it directly at me. In my chest right here is another one. My side right here. In his side right here is another one. These sets don't look great. My arm was swollen from another one. I've been fucked up by batons. They jumped my assistant wherever he is, right here. He has stitches in his leg. You can see his bone. They were trying to send a message. They targeted folks. What they do is they try to pick off the leaders. They knew that my video was being live streamed, and this is how you know. If they were worried about PR right now, they would have stopped the brutality. But instead, they shot me seven times. That's not a mistake. Some people got shot once, that's enough. My buddy Dion has two fractured bones in his skull and he's in the hospital has uh, skin hanging off of his face it takes skin off it can kill people they are lethal this was the intention nationwide cops are trying to send a message it is not about arrest it is about brutality they feel attacked and they don't realize, actually they do. I ain't even gonna give them that much. They know they've been attacking our communities for centuries under slave tactics. Now, we have to put an end to that. So one more time. Defund the police. 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 And since Eric Garcetti is responsible, he's got these, this blood on our hands. He stood behind Chief Moore as he said, that looters have George Floyd's blood on his hands. He stood by there, he did not correct them, so he has blood, and he's not even, he is actually responsible because he has not stopped this brutality for the years he's been in office, he is actually culpable for people's lives being lost, being murdered by police. So we have to hold him accountable. Say, fuck Garcetti. Fuck Garcetti! 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 I'm about to hear from one of my favorite people in life. Future. Hey. In the in in, in 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 the long line of liberators and the legacy of the long line of liberators, this is one of my favorite people. Um, y'all give it up for Future. <laughs>
is no holier work than this. There is no more just work than this. Know that people protest because politicians and policies have failed us for too long. People protect people. People protect people. There is a project around us. That's what this is. Whiteness. Moral apathy. Feigned innocence. These are all a project. It is time for the people to step out of this unjust social project. To step out of their fear and come into their power. That is our call to action today. If there's anyone in this country, and I know that is everyone in this country, that has suffered from a chronic mental health ailment, or as a family member who struggles from the same, you know how difficult it is to fight for dignity for that person or for yourself. And I will tell you why that is. Because instead of resources to the people, the resources are going to the police. The people are suffering. The people are suffering. The people are hungry in the richest country in the world. In a country where there is no greater depths of human suffering and no higher reaches than human possibility. And you all have come out here today because you've decided to step out of complacency, death to complacency, because complacency is the death of the soul. And is that not why we're all here? Yeah. To be in our purpose? Yeah. To live extraordinary and remarkable lives? Yeah. And to fight for the people who had that possibility ripped away from them? Yeah. Every single person here has a story. Every person. Every single person here has a story. Yeah. What's harder to fight for is the reality that we have our own stories and we're also born into stories. We're born into stories. And Black Lives Matter exists because to accept that story would be to accept our own destruction. And we won't do that, will we? No. And you won't allow that to happen, will you? No. And so we stepped off. We stepped off of that road, that path to destruction that would, re that would reduce us to rubble. And we decided to build new possibilities. And that is all Black Lives Matter is. An invitation to possibility, an invitation into life, an invitation into writing new rules and building a new society. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Revolution isn't just the ending of something. It is the beginning of something new. Yeah. And that is why we're all here. We are the foundation layers and the brick rate layers of tomorrow. For seven years, for seven years, we fought in Black Lives Matter. And they turned us. The society turned us into pariahs. And we worked. And we grit our teeth. And we worked. And I know many of you have done the same. Revolution happens in cycles. And now is the moment of mass mobilizations. But I want to tell you this. The future of protest isn't just critical mass. It is critical connections. Yeah. Because it's not just about what you stand for. It's about who you sit with. Yeah. 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 And now is the time for those critical connections. If we do not seek each other out outside of protest, if we do not seek each other out, we have accepted the conditions of bigotry. We have accepted the conditions of segregation. And segregation in the world means segregation in our minds. It means the death of the spirit. Do you hear me? Yeah. And so we're fighting today. We're fighting today. This, this work that we're doing against police brutality, this work of defunding the police, it isn't about defunding the police. No, we are people that are affirmative in our visions for change. It's about investing in communities. It's about giving people power. It's about feeding hungry bellies and paying people's rent. The working class of this country 
that, are, that is the lifeblood of this country. No more empty promises. No more empty promises. We want to stop the death of black people. We need to rise up, just like our people are doing over there. And so I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this is the last thing that I tell you. In this long marathon of a fight, I used to think that it took a certain kind of person to do this work. I would look up and think about Angela Davis and Asada Shakur and Huey P. Newton. I would look up to our ancestors. I would look up to Mama Harriet, Fannie Lou Hamer, Ida B. Wells, and I would think that was a remarkable person. And I was right, but I'm gonna tell you something. Nobody, nobody starts out as remarkable. We become remarkable when we fight for freedom, and when we fight for justice, and we fight for liberation. You too become remarkable. Go. We are fighting uh. for the imagination of our children.
55% of men in state jails and prisons have mental illnesses. 73% of women. That shows the extra layer of oppression that women have to face in this country, especially black women. So when we're talking about mental health care infrastructure, we need to take that shit out of their hands. They shouldn't be handling it. He, uh, you are 16 times more likely to die at the hands of police if you are experiencing a mental health episode. 16 times. We could have health care. We could have uh, restorative justice models. We could have rehabilitation centers. We could have so many things that we actually need systems are, that are built on care this system was built on oppression and anti-blackness and colonization so we need to end it defund the police 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 now there's a reason i gave y'all that framing i'm about to make an invitation there is no judgment on anybody who does not take this invitation. I'm talking to my people in particular, my people with these large platforms. Anybody who wants to say something, do not come up here talking about all cops are not bad. Don't come up here talking about, well, maybe we'll leave them a little bit of money. We are not talking about that. We have one demand right now, and it's defund the police. So if you're willing to say something in that regard, remember you are not speaking on behalf of Black Lives Matter. But if you're going to utilize this platform that Black Lives Matter has set up for years, be on message. Don't be divisive. Don't get, don't don't give any. They've tried to make us seem like we forgive our oppressors in these movies for too long. Fuck these <laughs> fuck these storylines where we're like, oh, you know what? Uh, Massa, I forgive you. I'll just take it and and grin it and be a strong black woman. No. We have pain. We do say fuck you sometimes. Often, we do win when we fight. When we fight, we win. 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 We win. Say fuck the oppressor. Fuck the oppressor. Fuck the oppressor. Fuck the oppressor. We need to see more of those storylines. When we fight, we win. When we fight, we win. Um, we are holding down 
the space right now. We can do this. I've been to many a protest. Everybody's doing amazing. Everybody's doing fine. I also think if there's if we got any poets or artists out there that want to share something, great. Then we're gonna bring them up. Let's bring up Amber, y'all. Let's go. Oh, they was a lot. This thing gets small. Yeah. Okay. You want me to hold it for you? Huh? I think I got it. What's up, y'all? So I'm Amber Riley. Most of you guys may know me from the show Glee, but uh, my friends know me as that chick from Compton that's kind of reckless. Um, I just, I, I am going to sing a song, but I did just want to say, as an actor, I struggled with getting involved with activism and using my platform because I was afraid of, of what would happen with my job because as we know Hollywood is mostly ran by white people and they don't like when black people speak up but I am no longer afraid and that should be and I thank you Kendrick for radicalizing me and helping me understand what true activism is and um, I'm committing to it so I'm going to sing this song and uh, I hope that it blesses you guys I just can't give up now. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy, and I don't believe he. Promise this far to leave me. Oh, you didn't bring me out here to leave me lonely. Even if I can't see clearly, I know that you are with me. So I just we can't give.
judge. That's not what we're here for. We're here to stand, not fall. All right? Amen. We're not going to judge. Two days ago, what's today, Tuesday? Excuse me. Three days ago, me and my manager were detained for no fucking reason out here doing what is our constitutional right to speak up for ourselves and to demand that the laws that we fucking pay for. These people that we put money in their pockets, we pay them. You know that. Those are your taxes. They go immediately into their pockets. We were out here doing that and got detained. Seven hours with our hands behind our backs. That's what compliance gets you. I've once heard that a protest with permission is a parade. We're not out here to parade. We're not out here to disrupt shit, but this civil injustice. That's all we out here to do. Right now, there are people seated. There are people seated. And there are cops out there, over 50, with rubber bullets in hand and batons. And they're ready to hit. They're ready to disrupt this and make it look like we are the people. Being all kinds of inactive, all kinds of fucking rambunctious all over the place. You see how peaceful this is. Document your surroundings. Take care of each other. People are going missing. People are going hurt. We are here to fight for our cause. Take care of each other. The whole point of us being out here is to what? Take care of each other. That's why we're here. It don't matter what type of minority you are. And if you're a white person, thank you for showing up. Right now, we're here to look out for one another. There's no reason this should even need to take place. They want to talk about us needing to go home. We shouldn't have to fucking be here. How about that? It's always time to shut some shit down, but they don't want to shut down when things are being, when people are being murdered. Where they shutting that shit down? And you know what else? I'm going to bring some proof to y'all real quick. If there was nothing poor going on right now, they would want you to have your cameras out. If there was nothing bad happening right now, they would want you to document them. It would exonerate them of every single thing that we're saying right now. But they want you to turn your shit off. They signal jamming. People's Instagrams ain't working right now. I know y'all peeped that. Yeah. They were working when we got here, though. Yeah. I know y'all peeped that, too. Yeah, right. right now, we need to look out for one another. And we need to be on the fucking front lines. There's people over there seated to make sure that we're okay. They're protecting black bodies. And that's why we're out here. To what? Protect black bodies. Right. So I'm going to get the fuck out the way because this ain't about me. But just remember why we're here. Look out for one another. If you see someone hurt, carry them off to the side and make sure you remember. Not everybody in this crowd is a fucking ally. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Oh, Keep watching. I'm done. I'm so glad you know how to pack that shit. I feel like I'm not standing on this thing. Everything I, time I come up here, I feel like I'm risking my life. I might be afraid, more afraid of this soul than these police. <laughs> Um, y'all, yeah. why are we here right now? Anybody remember? What is it? What is it? Defund the police! What is it? Defund the police! What is it? Defund the police! Alright, we got some musicians out here. How we make that feel a little better than that? What is it? Defund the police! What is it? Defund the police! What is it? Defund the police! How is it? Defund the police! Uh -huh. Defund the police! Uh -huh. Defund the police! What is it? 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 Defund the police!
You Babylon, black people, Lord of Bob, we break. Fuck our city. Yeah, South now, Babylon, black people, Lord of Bob, we ready. Yeah, fuck our city. Babel